In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to grunge some stuff up. Download this template from my Patreon, the link's in the description below, which includes this After Effects project, as well as Moker counterparts for use in Premiere, a grunge animation preset, and an instructional video. To learn how I made all this, stick around and learn some really cool tips, tricks, and shortcuts. And please, hit that subscribe button now. If you enjoy my tutorials and get something out of them, subscribing is the simple, free way to support this channel. Okay, there's a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. Okay, so I've put together this grunge collection here. It's got a couple of text layers, it's got a shape layer, and it has a background. This is powered through Essential Graphics, so what you would need to do is just select which one of the ones you want to use, right-click, open in Essential Graphics, and then you have all of these settings. Uh, this template is going to come with a tutorial video, so I'm not going to go over all the settings here, but just so you're aware, this is intended to be used through Essential Graphics. Now, you can either do this in After Effects or in Premiere. So if you go over to Premiere, you can bring in the Mogerts that I made. If you come over here, just press this plus, and then you want to select where it says Grunge Collection. So this will come in the compressed file that you get from Patreon. You can grab that right now and start using it, or if you want to see how some of this is made, you can stick around. Click this Grunge Collection folder and hit Choose, and it's going to open up these options right here. So if we go back over to After Effects real quick, you'll see we have all these settings. Uh, this is for our background. If right click on Text, Open Essential Graphics, we have all of these text settings. This is mirrored in Premiere. And this can also be lengthened or shortened to your liking. And let's bring in this text layer here. And if we go over to our properties panel and click on the grunge text, we see we have the same options there. So you can change things like font, color, you can change your noise type, you can invert your grunge, you can change the size of it. All the things you can do in After Effects, you can also do here. If you're interested in this template, like I said, go over to my Patreon and you can download this and start using it immediately. Okay, so I just have an empty comp here with our solid background. And first, I'm going to show you how to make some grungy text. I'm going to make some changes in my character panel. This is Poppins. In the template, I'm using Urbane, which is an Adobe font. So you should be able to connect to that through Typekit if you don't already have this loaded. So I'm going to use Heavy so that way we have a really thick font there. And I'm going to make this all caps. So this layer selected, I'm going to Function Command Option Left Arrow to center my anchor point, And then Function Command Left Arrow to center that to our comp. And let's make this a little bit larger. Just want to center that up again real quick. Okay, so now there are two ways to add in grunge. First, I'm going to add it directly to my text. With our text layer selected, right click, go to effect, and we want to go to noise and grain, fractal noise. Let's make our fractal type dynamic progressive. We want to make our noise type linear. Our contrast, let's push that up to 1300. Make our brightness 300. We open up our transform properties and let's make our scale, we'll say 475. And let's make our complexity, we'll go all the way up to 20. Open up our sub settings here and let's make our sub influence 110% and then make our sub scaling, let's bring that down to about 20. And the last thing we want to do is change our blending mode to multiply. Okay, so we already start to see some of the grunginess going on here. I'm going to just kind of play with my brightness setting and you can see how it adds in more grunge. Also, you can play with your contrast a little bit. You want your contrast to get higher or your brightness to get lower to add more of that in. Now, to move some of this stuff around, you can open up your evolution options, change your random seed. So every time you change this value, you'll get a different kind of grunge layout, which is really cool. You can kind of play with that a little bit and get the grunge that you're looking for, kind of play around with that brightness and contrast, and also... You can play around with our transform properties. Right now we have it set to 475. I'm going to bring that down maybe to, we'll say 200. Maybe bring my brightness up a little bit. So this is one way to add the grunge in, and I do like this. The only thing is, is that this is going directly onto our text, so that's why our grunge is black. So that may be a look that you're going for, but also like to create grunge so that it takes away the actual characters. And the way you do that is Command Y to create a solid. You want to make sure that solid is white. We want to take our fractal noise from our name. Let's just copy that, and then I'm going to hide it. So that way, this text layer no longer has any grunge on it. Go to our white solid and just paste it on. And now we can track mat our text up to that white layer. And then you want to make this alpha mat a luma mat we can see that instead of having black grunge, this is actually taking that color away. 
and I'm going to change my background real quick so that way you can see a little bit better. I'm just going to add in a fill. I'm using Video Copilot's FX console to pull up my effects. If you're not familiar with that, I put a link in the description below so you can download that. It makes grabbing your effects so much quicker. All you have to do is just type in the one you want and you can get access to it. So we add that fill. Now we can see this red in here coming through and I'm going to change my color so you can actually see what I'm saying. So see, instead of having black grunge, we actually have the grunge taking away part of this white color on our text. Play around with these settings and get the amount of grunge that suits your look. And if you want this to kind of dance around, what you can do is option or alt click on random seed. And then that's going to bring up your expression right here. Type in time times 10. And if you watch that playback, you get grunge that kind of dances on your text there. So that's kind of a cool effect. You may want that for something that looks like old film jumping around. I'm just going to take that off for now. And then I'm going to grab my fractal noise from this solid white layer. Copy that. I'm going to put that onto our background. And it's going to add in this black grunge. The reason why it's black and it's not transparent, so we can toggle this off and on, is because we are not luma matted up to that grunge layer instead we put the grunge directly on the layer now to get other types of grunge you can change your noise type right now set the linear you can make that block and again playing with this transform and also your brightness is really going to make a big difference you can make it soft linear you can make it spline and these are all going to have different effects. You can also hit invert. This is one of the options you have actually in my template is to invert it just to get a quick look that's different. One of the things I did notice is as you go through the fractal types, some of them don't work. Like, for example, we are on dynamic progressive. So to basic, we have something that looks like that. Turbulent smooth completely disappears. Not exactly sure why, but these turbulent ones tend to not work. I believe the dynamics, all of those will work and give you a slightly different kind of feel. And, you know, just kind of play around with some of these. Max produces nothing, Smeary does, and as you can see, it's a different kind of grunge. Kind of play with your brightness here to kind of make it more or less. Click through some of these. Like I said, some of these don't produce any grungy looks. Some of them don't produce good ones. So I'm going to set this back to dynamic progressive and set this back to linear. Okay, and I hope this tutorial helped you out. Let me know in the comments below if this is the kind of tutorial you'd like to see. And again, to grab my Grunge collection set, head over to Patreon right now and you can download that and start using it immediately. If you have any issues or any questions, feel free to email me at the address you see on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.